A very good morning to you. It is the 16th of May, Saturday, the year 2020. And this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. Are you maybe feeling a bit lonely today? Or you may be feeling a bit lost. Maybe you're saying, Angus, I don't know how much longer this thing is going to go on, but I'm starting to get a bit desperate and I'm starting to lose my way. Well, if we go to the Gospel of John, chapter 14 and verses 5 and 6, remember Thomas, one of the disciples, said to Jesus, How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way. And I really want to leave you with that thought today. You know, my dear friend, when I was preaching in Canada quite a few years back, a man came up to me in the airport and he gave me a gift. It was a little stone carving that could probably fit into the palm of your hand of a figurine of a person. And I said, well, what is this? He said, Angus, this is what the Eskimos carve out of stone. And what they used to do when they were going across that wide open white space, just snow, no landmarks. No people, nothing, not even any animals. And they would go for days and days and they would start to get lonely and they would start to lose their way. And then right in the middle of nowhere, up in that northern area, full of snow, no landmarks, there'd be a little cairn of stones. And on top of that cairn of stones would be a little carving like this of a person. And that would give that poor Eskimo hope. And uh, he wouldn't feel so lonely because, you see, that little emblem would show him that somebody has been this way before. And his courage would be picked up and he would keep going with his sledge and his dogs. What about you today? You know, as I sit in my prayer room relating the story to you, I am holding in my hand a small little prayer cross. This cross... This is obviously just a copy of it was found in the catacombs of Rome where the early Christians used to hide from the Romans that were trying to kill them. It was given to me by a pastor in Australia maybe 30 years ago. And when I pray in the morning, I take this cross, I grip it in my hand tight. Sometimes it cuts into the corners of my fingers and it reminds me of what Jesus Christ did for me. I want to encourage you today to look up and remember Jesus said, He is the way. Nothing will happen to you today without God's permission. Use this opportunity of spending time with the Lord and start thinking about the way forward, about the vision God's given to you and what you're going to do in a very short while when this terrible plague passes us by. God bless you. Have a wonderful day until tomorrow. Goodbye.